you say here was that you went to Chukujunibo's house. That shouldn't make you cry. What did you not hear when I, when I told you that Chukui met me there? He was very angry. He was mad at me. I don't know how to face him. Don't make me call you stupid. In fact, Amaka, you are stupid. <laughs> My beautiful daughter. Be thinking of how to go and talk to that stupid photo. <laughs> My daughter, I said it before, that that makes it easier for us. You should be happy that he saw you with Chukwu Jinibo. At least he will know that my daughter is thinking bigger. But it's not fair. It's not fair, you know it. You know what has come over me? What was I even thinking? I was thinking going to Chukudinebo's house. I'm so ashamed of myself. I'm so ashamed of myself. I can see that you are non stupid. That you've lost, totally lost sense of reasoning. I don't, I, I don't know what that good for nothing man has done to my daughter. Well, let me From now onwards, I forbid you from seeing that stupid man. You will not see him again. Unless you want me to involve your father into this matter. You know the implication. If he comes into this matter. What is this issue that is eating you up? Mama, it's Chukudini. What about him? Or has his trap caught another maiden? Have you not noticed he does not come here anymore? Yeah, have you? It's true. Why? I don't know, Mama. I'm worried. He promised he will keep visiting until my wound heals. No, don't worry yourself. Hmm? But I, I think you should go and see him. I mean, what matters is that you've built a relationship with him. Exactly what I do not want to do, Mama. I do not want to carry myself to him. I don't want to be like every other maiden. I want him to come to me. You have to calm down and handle this like a man. <sighs> That is exactly what I want to do. But how am I supposed to do that? Listen, we are talking about your woman. At the same time, your master. All you need to do is just get back to the work, then have a chat with Chukudi Nibu. That is exactly what I don't want to do. I, don't say that again, please. I want to say that again, please. I, I don't... I can't... Uh, welcome. I asked around and I was told that you are here. Probably trying to invest this noble man with your stupidity and laziness. Is it not clear that that is what you are trying to do? Um, ne, we don't mean to get you angry. We're actually discussing about your daughter. Ah! You see, my daughter, discussing what? Mwankere, don't force me to lose the respect I have for you. Are you Odukwe? What was the last thing I discussed with you? Tell me! Last discussion. No, I can't remember. Hey! Uburete! It's Imwoke. How can you remember? The last time I saw you, under the tree, at the village square, discussing with my daughter, I want you to stay clear from my daughter. To just carry this your poor self away from my daughter. Did I not warn you? Did I not warn you? And what is this, this useless discussion that you are having here with 
your friend about my daughter. Ne, these two people, they love themselves. Shut up. What do you know about love? That I love. Odukwe. I've told you several times that my daughter will not marry a loser like you. My name is Odukwe. I am not a loser. Mechono, I'm still talking. Ne, what you're doing is not fair. The way you're handling this thing is not fair. Oh. Look at you. Who is talking about fairness? What Odukwe is doing to my daughter? Is it fair? Odukwe, listen and listen good. Let me tell you, my daughter is already in love with Chuku Dunibo. And I will not sit and watch you destroy it. Next time, I see you close to my daughter. Odukwe, Odukwe, listen very well. Oh. Stay clear from my daughter. This is the last warning. Listen, Odukwe, we've seen this type of resistance a thousand times, over and over. If you love this girl, go for her. Jacobi, why are you talking to me like this, Jacobi? Why? Don't give me that look. Look at you, Amaka. No wonder they say pretenders do the worst. You were trying to discourage me from seeing Chukudilu just because of your own interest. Chukubi, you do not understand. That's not how it happened. Oh, really? Yes. Well, tell me. Oh, no. I know. You got the information that this man will be going to his house today. Then you sneaked in. Automatically became his house help. By sweeping and cooking for him. Well, I can see you've drawn your conclusion. But since you do not want to hear my own part of the story, I don't think I have any business standing here with you. Oh, excuse me. Go with your fake self. You would have told me you wanted him. I would have told you the easier way to get him. What gave you the ability to come into my compound and shout? Have you gone crazy? This is not your pretender of a daughter. She said I was being cheap for abandoning all the men that was coming my way and chasing after him. No more, and then she does the worst. So you're still talking? Even your mother, maybe your mother cannot talk back at me. Oh, you're still talking? You're still talking? Yeah, Amaka. Amaka. Mama. Can you imagine how useless this thing you call your friend is? Next time, I warn you to stay clear from this kind of useless thing. You listen to your mother. You, you listen to me. No, you see that you you kill him. You not happen in this kind of Yes, you must kill him. Man of Fosili, listen, let all of us calm down. Let's calm down and handle this matter like men. My brothers, I personally called for this meeting. I, Okudu. We can no longer pretend as if all is well and what, what belongs to us being given to dog. Baba, no. Ba it can't happen in this If time. a snake does not show what makes it a snake, children we use it to tie firewood. Exactly. Oh, Imagine Chekube, my own Chekube, hey. calling me names just because of Chuku Dinibo. Imagine. Uh, Mbanu. Mbanu. This nonsense must be stopped. Must stop. Yes. Yes. Even the maidens that are not running after him expect every man in Osili to be like Chuku Dinibo before he will be considered for marriage, which is not supposed to be so. Yes. yes. Ndu Jeku, you are right. You are right. That good in the man of Ununebo. We must get him down. Yes. We must get rid of him. Yes. yes. Listen to me. Let all of us calm down. Hi. Oh. All right. Let all of us do what? Calm down. 
Why should we kill Chukudi Nibu? Because he is taking what belongs to us. Yo. Exactly. Bam. And he makes us appear as fools in our own land. Imagine. Are we fools? Imagine. No, we are not fools. Right. Listen, let me tell you. Has it been heard that Chukudi Nibu took advantage of any of these medals? Hey. They threw themselves at him. Hey. Listen, let me tell you. Whether you want to believe it or not, Chukudi Nibu is a very noble man. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, Chukudi Nibu is a very noble man. Okay. Our medals are to be blamed okay. for all this. Killing Chukudi Nibu will be grossly unjust. And gods of Urunobu, even our own gods, will never spare Tell any them, of let us. Them know. Tell them. He will not spare any of us. Let them not spare us. He deserves to die. Right. Let them not spare us. You are really right. Our mind is made up. And we yes. must do it. We must do it. We must do it. I will do it. I can't believe this. I don't need any other confirmation. Who's Oma is a witch? Hi. I can't believe I've been eating her food. I will never eat her food again. <laughs> Why? Why will you not eat her food again? Did I make a mistake by telling you? Anakwenze, are you going to remain a fool all your life? When someone is keen on knowing whether her food is being eaten or not, that spells doom. Hi! <laughs> I can't believe I've been eating my food though. Lele, Lele, Lele. Lele. Oh, you have vomited. Go ahead and vomit it. We have been eating our food all this while. At least no one has died. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at her. Are you not getting fatter? Forget this. That girl is a witch. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Oh, you see? Oh, you see? Any problem? I thought he was a noble man. But I was wrong. Chukudin will say very noble man. Even his enemies do give it to him that he's a man from another world. When it comes to decency and self-control. See, hmm. tomorrow, I will still desire him. You have no shame, do you? I mean, why do you still desire a man who does not want you? I do not understand that. Why? I might be shameless, Uche. But definitely not like some people who hide their feelings and go about doing no manner of stupid things just to get a man's attention. Are we still talking about the same thing? Hmm? Chukudinbo promised he would always come visit him until my wound heals. He just stopped coming. No. He is not noble. And he's not a decent man. He's not a man of his words. Wow. But you never can tell. Maybe, just maybe, he discovered that your wound is already healed. <laughs> Don't you think so? Oh, Chechi, please do not make me hate you. Do not make me hate you. You know what, Chechi? You are very pathetic. To think that you risked your life with that trap just to get Chico Dinibo's attention. Uh -uh. Oh, resident good dear, to that extent. Yet, you abuse us who show our feelings to him openly. Now tell me, Uchi, who is the stupid one? Who? To fear Pwage. Please, hold on. You mean they had a meeting where they planned to kill you? 
How come I didn't hear about this? Were well, you deaf when he said that the young man that, that, that just left came with that information? Were well, you deaf? But, but why? Why, Onisi? You've never forced any maiden to visit you here. He doesn't even have interest in any of them. And to think that Odukwe, Odukwe and Kaiwa, who knows how all these useless maidens throw themselves about in this place, was part of that meeting. It's what I can't understand. Odukwe, hi! So, if not that one Gene spoke in my favor, I'll probably be dead by now. Onishi, I think it is time you do something. It is high time you put a stop to all this rubbish. This is a grand deal also. Again, thank all these medians. Ah, yes. Chicken yeah. Lingo, great things. <laughs> I, I have something very, very important to discuss with you. Not today, Yuzabuta. Not today. Is he okay? You had him. Not today. Not ever. Come to your father. What is wrong with all of you? Go! 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 One down. And others will continue to be taken care of. We will sort them out one by one. But, but really, all those men are actually very, very crazy. I can hear also. I can hear also. I can't accept this. Why is that? This is just a token to show my appreciation, my girl. You saved my life. I heard all that happened and how you spoke on my behalf. Um, what I did was the right thing. I wasn't even thinking about you when I spoke to the men. Fair. But rejecting this will not make me feel any better. Please. It's a token from my heart. Please accept. Thank you very much. I was on my way to check my traps. So I'll just get going now. Thank you. And You are really a nice man. May the gods of our land be with you. Do. Because of his goodness, gods of our land will always give him animal to kill in the same forest we hunt without success. It really pays to be good. really speaks to me about her plans. She practically avoids me now. I need to know every move she's making. And <laughs> that one, I don't even know where to place her. I need help. I need to win Chukudini once and for all. Must you 
I beg your pardon. What do you mean by that? Chalu, 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 ka hata hini. Zaram, are you possibly calling me a witch? Oh, yes. Where did you emerge from this time? I should be the one to ask you that. Zaram, what are you doing in this lonely corner? In the dark, all alone. Are you not the witch here about to practice your witchcraft? I hate him so much. And as his woman, please stay away from you. Before I start seeing you in the same light, stay away from you, Zomao. Wait. Um, you're getting me all confused here. What, what do you mean by that? Oh. Why are you now pretending as if you've not heard what Okudili planned to do? Ozoma, stay clear away from me. Zaran? Zaran? Zaran, wait, wait, wait. Have you no shame, Okudili? Have you no shame? If your woman leaves you for another man, what do you do? Try to kill him? A wise man will try to become what that man, his woman, prefers is. Well, because you're not man enough, you had a meeting and tried to kill an innocent man. He is not innocent. He stole you away from me. Hi! Uncle Dili, how did I ever meet you? How? So if another man stole your woman, all you can do is kill him. Eh? What does that make you? A man or a complete heartless fool? Who's man you are insulting me, yo? You are insulting me and I'm letting it go because I love you. You and I know no other maiden can talk to me the way you're talking to me right now. Eh? Eh? What will you do? What will you do? Uzoma. Beat me up. Uzoma. Oh, yeah, beat me up. Okay. Beat me up Uzoma. now. Oh, you beat me now. Look at me. Beat me. I know you won't be able to do that. You don't have the nerves. You don't have the strength. Weak man. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. If you don't have better things to do with your life, I do. And it certainly does not involve you. Stay away from me! Have a Leave me! I don't want! Huh? Or by force? Nonsense! I have plans for my life, you yeah? hear? And I love you. I don't want! This is my boss! Have a What is it? Who's uh -huh. I love you? I don't know what you're still standing here for. I have told you we don't sell on credit. Eh? Oh, oh are, you, are you deaf? Oh, you know, maybe she's deaf already. Yeah. So how do I go back to Mobo without meat? How did he send you here without money? Go back to him and ask him how he expects you could enable to pay us if he decides to sell to him on credit. I thought you already discussed that with Chukwu <laughs> I said we don't sell meat on credit. Eh? You think it's easy to go into that bush and shoot an animal? Eh? If you want to eat me, tell me I'll give you a get out. Go away from here, Biko. Get out. Oh, oh but does he give you a drink or credit? Nonsense. I said go! Idiot. No, I just met the two men that work for him. Those fools. But Shuku the baby was supposed to have told them before leaving. They didn't give me. They even insulted me in the process. Let me go and wash the dishes. Remember, I'm still going to see my mother later today. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. I I think the best thing for me to do is to go and see Shuku the baby myself. Okay. What are you saying? 
But you already told us to stop selling on credit. I am very, very sure that I did not mention Wobo's name when I said what I said. I'm sure of that. Wobo always pays his debts. Anyway, I'll have to go and see him. Hey, my name is Greetings. Greetings, Chikudinibo. Greetings, Uchiichi. What do you want? One nobleman promised he would always come visit him until the wound I got from his animal trap heals. But he stopped coming, leaving me worried and sad. So tell me, why will a noble man do that to a noble maiden? That is why I'm here. I came to find out why. Why did you stop coming? Why did you abandon me? Let us see why. The noble man stopped visiting because your wound is completely healed. So now do you see that the noble man fulfilled his promise? What do you want from me, Chichi? What exactly do you want? Please, please. I can't explain. You had all this planned out, didn't you? Now what I want to know is, did you get yourself caught in my trap? Accidentally or intentionally? It's difficult for you to answer, isn't it? It's hard. I understand. What I do not understand is why any right-thinking human being with a sane mind will subject him or herself to this kind of risk. Why? Do you know how worried I was when I heard that my trap caught you? Chukudinibo, please, I'm sorry. Please, I, I can explain. Please. I have to be somewhere right now. Please, leave. Go and take care of yourself. Chukudinibo, please. I'm very sorry about this. I'm sure it's just an I'm very embarrassed. My problem is, why must those men behave like that? Does it mean they don't know how we do this business? Forgive them. My apologies. Can you please call it as an information that I will address in that person? It is an as good that kill you to see that baby. I kill you. Is that where she's from? She must be a very hard working girl. I had to come all the way from Akihi to work here. She said she has a lot of responsibilities working for her back home. And that she needed to work so hard to 
in order to take care of the responsibilities. Maiden spoke this way. The maiden is talking about taking care of responsibilities. It sounds very strange, doesn't it? What I fetch is enough for you. She's very different. Very calm. Very hardworking. Very humble. I sincerely believe that if she continues like this, that will be good place. Uchechi, you cannot blame me for your foolishness. You call me foolish. Wasn't that your plan? How? How did you even get to know about this? How? All that question should be directed to you. How did he find out? You're asking me. You're asking me, Uchechi. <laughs> anyway, that's not what I'm here. I'm here to give you a message. You must have heard how the young men of Osili planned to kill Chikudinibu because of the foolishness of you maidens. What? Huh? You've not heard? Anyway, you heard that from me. Hmm? As a result of that, Chikudinibu has decided not to have anything to do with any of you maidens. So I want you to please stay away from him for now. I even say, in fact, forever, stay away from him. I'm done. What's the game? See, Uchechi, I don't have this time. My mission with you is finished. Good night. Goodbye. You took the food of which you dropped my powerful charm to him. How are you sure that he ate from the food? How are you sure? Find out how. Despite all the money I spent on you, I still did not get him. There must be something else I must do. Oh. Are you okay? Who are you discussing with? No one, Papa. Nobody. I must go to bed. May the day break. Why would he want to see me? I don't have any idea, but he was here yesterday to apologize for how he spent his bed. But you weren't here. Why would he do that? Was he not the one that gave the orders for his men to do so? No, Reshes, and the order he gave was not for us. He gave the order actually for the, some of the people in this kingdom that will not pay for what they owe. His men misunderstood everything. Oh. Well, he already met you. That's enough apology. Oh, what does he want? Does he want to speak with me directly? Maybe. That doesn't make sense to me. You are the boss. And he has apologized. From the way you sound, it sounds as if you accepted the apology. So there's... Well, Echazana, I am not going to force you into anything. If you have decided not to go, no problem. So how are your people? They're fine. They sense their meetings. You're welcome, my dear. Thank you. I see there's a lot for me to do. I need to get to work. Okay. Useless girl that cannot listen to what her mother is telling her. Mama, leave me alone. I will not leave you alone. I am your mother. 
I will not sit and watch you waste away. No matter what you're pushing me to do, is what we waste. How can I be chasing after a man who does not even know that I exist? All because he's a promising son in me. And what will you be doing? Hanging around one useless fool, one good for nothing boy that cannot even take care of you. Talk more of coming to take care of your parents. Mama, all I see in this case is that you're being selfish. You only think about yourself. You don't think about the next person. You only think about yourself. My child, I am thinking about you, my child. You deserve a good man. A man that can take care of you. Look at how beautiful you are. From head to toe. This man we are talking about is good for nothing. He cannot take good care of you. I even heard that he has lost the job back to the okay. Yes, he has. He has lost it. Thanks to you, Mama. He lost that job because he saw me with you put in. Amaka. Last time. If I see you near that stupid man, I will crush you. I will bulldoze you. Mama, let me tell you. Mama, see, let me tell you. You will not stand on my way. You will not stand on my way. I know you're not his God. You will not stand on my way. You will not stand on my way. You won't. Who is talking? Crayfish. Era, I will not stand on your way. I will not stand on your way. Let me tell you, Amaka. If I see you near that fool again, I will produce you. I will tell you that I am your mother. Try me. Yes? What have you come here to do? So, Peter, uh, my only friend in your city. Your only friend? Who is your only friend? Please don't patronize me. Please. But oh, that is true. You are my only true friend. What have I done wrong? Did you come here to question me? So, Peter, what have I done wrong? Or is it because of Chuku Dinebo? Chuku Dinebo? <laughs> do I have to fight you because of him? You and I know who the loser will eventually be. <laughs> anyway, one after the other, all my competitors will be going down. Just like your fake friend Uchechi. Has she gone down? How do you mean? What happened to her? You mean you don't know? You mean you don't know that Uchechi supposedly trapped herself just to get Chuku Dinibo's attention? Oh, it's a lie. Uchechi doesn't want Chuku Dinibo. She could not have done that. Anyway, when you're done arguing and you want to hear more, how will you? Please, I'd like to have a word with you. Now? I need to get this to Mubu as soon as possible. I'm aware of that. But I promise I won't take much of your time. the meaning of this. Are you okay? <laughs> My dear, there are a lot of families that cannot boast of a day's meal, yet you waste food on a man. Not just a man, no. A man that will not even have her time at all. Now tell me. Is that not foolishness? <clears throat> what some worthless maidens do to get a man's attention? Food 
cannot get him. You should have come anyway, even if you felt that there was no need. I don't have to come all the way for you to apologize. You already did that, and I think that's what matters. He's the boss or not me. I did not call you here for apologies. It is a, as you know, I am a man of very few words. I do not speak very much. What I'm about to tell you, I have given great thought to. And I want you to take it very, very serious. Serious? What is wrong? I like you. I want to court you. And I want to marry you. You didn't just say that, did you? I've been observing you since you started working for mobile. You are different. You have all the qualities I want in a woman. Oh. <laughs> Calm down, calm down, Usama, please, just calm down. What exactly is this about? Is it about the food or the fact that you love me? Help! Triple D, Mobiko. Please, just show me some love. Show me some love. Even if it's small, I will manage it because my fellow maidens, they laugh at me. They laugh at me because no matter how much I love you, you refuse to love me back. You will show me small love. Please, no, just stop it. Just small, I will manage it. Just love me. Please. Just stop it. Just stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop what can a man do now? I'm just managing my life. Um, have you thought of going back to Chukudimibo? Wangene, after he heard about the plan to kill him, I don't think he will ever want to see me in his, in his house again. No, no, listen. I don't think he's that kind of person. Just go back to him, apologize to him, then let's see what happens next. Huh? Anyway, that is part of why I called you. Um, just give me one minute. I'll be right back. What? Wangene, is this why you call me to your house? Eh, hey, Wangene? So because of her? I'm truly sorry. I've hurt you so much. I was, I was so foolish. Dukri, please. I beg of you. Forgive me. I love you so much. Dukri, you are all I want. You are my life. Amaka, you are a disgrace. 
<laughs> and I will never have anything to do with you again. Go ahead. Go ahead and get yourself a wedding man that will make your mother proud. No, no. no. Oh, please. She's just a woman. Just forgive her, please. Her mother called me a son of nobody. I love you, honey, baby. Please, I love you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just forgive her. I love you so much. I'm sorry. Why did you leave like that? We were in the middle of an important discussion. I had to let you settle with your woman. My woman? Who told you she's my woman? It was obvious. She loves you. Okay. Um, listen up, Eche. She is not my woman. Okay? I do not have any woman. You are the one I want to make my woman. Believe me. Why me? Chukwu Dinibo, you command respect. You're a noble man. You command respect from the Lord, the High and the Mighty in this village. You deserve a noble maiden. Someone of equal status as yours and not me. I'm just a stranger in this land. I've just come to make money to sustain my family. I am nothing. Stop it. Just I... stop it. Please. Stop. You're much bigger than you think of yourself. I am also a stranger here. Yes, I'm a visitor, so that makes the both of us. I want you. Don't turn me down. Please. I respect you a lot. And I beg you to respect my decision. I cannot be with you. Choose any one of them and forget about that uh, HS on her. True, Nisi. She's not even worthy of your love. She's one worthless maiden that serves pan wine at the bar. I know, Nisi. I am sure you're not even aware. That maiden, HS on her, she sleeps around with different men. Wow. <laughs> For money. For some more money. This stuff is everywhere now. Haven't you heard? <laughs> Pam wine has a way of triggering the sex all the men. Once they drink themselves to stupor, they calm down their bodies with that classless, useless etches on it. <laughs> Anna Quincy, did somebody lay a curse on your tongue? What kind of stupid question is that? I see no other reason why you say such a thing in the presence of Onisi about the maiden that you know that he loves, if not that someone placed a curse on your tongue. The rumor is everywhere. The rumor is everywhere. Omoko, I am even planning to use my extra cash to go to her. You will give me something now. Okay, Zaya. Okay, get him over here. The one hand. Hey, if you continue like this, I assure you, you lose this your job. And she refused to accept my proposal. It's not the issue here. There is something else that bothers me greatly. Talk to me, I'm listening. Oh, well, before I made my intentions known to HSM. I came to you as a man to another man and I asked you about her and you confirmed to me that she has no spots. That is the truth. She has no spots. 
Why did you not tell me that she was going on? I beg your pardon? How could you say a thing like that? I mean, how could you? People think that she sleeps with the men that patronize you for me. Miyamadio has striked those that say that to me. Miyamadio has striked them. This is my problem in this land. How could people wake up and decide to spoil the names of other people? There is something I never told anyone in this land. But I'm going to tell you. Because I hold you as a man of middle class. Just come with me. And I want to ask you, is poverty now in sin? Matuka, please give me this name, please. 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 What have I gotten myself into? Did I tell you that this is over? It's still new, Chichu. I know it's you. We are still friends. But as far as the matter concerns Chukudin, I'm sorry I cannot help you. Madika, all you've done so far is as good as nothing. Even the suggestion you came up with backfired. I did not only go through pains, I was humiliated. Now that you believe that my suggestions are not favorable, why are you still the stopping new church? Leave me alone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if my choice of words offended you. But please, I still need your help. Please. I need someone close to Chukudini, but you to get him. Chichi, listen to me and listen very carefully. Because I'm going to say this only once. Before, Chukudini has no need in his life. But as we speak now, he has a special meaning in his life. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. In fact, he's ready to do anything to be with this maiden. Now that you know, please leave him alone. And you let me be. Um, 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 Madoka. What is it again? Tell me who this maiden is. Her name is the Chesona. She's a sales girl at Mobo's bar. Now you know. Please leave him alone and don't bring me into this matter again. Thank you. Echezona. That's 
thing. That sleeve. What is he doing with his sleeve? Please, I beg of you. Please send me on another errand, please. Why? Have you not been the one going to buy me bush meat from Chukwu in the place? Or has he harmed you in any way? No, he hasn't done anything wrong. So why asking me to send you on another errand? I don't understand what is going on here. Is there something you're not telling me? What's happening? He wants me to marry him. You're not serious, are you? Shuku Dinibu, the wealthiest young man in our city kingdom, the most noble of them all, is asking you to be his wife. That's good news. How does that affect your going there to buy me bush? Why should I be the one you would choose? The news of how all the maidens of Osili kill themselves over him is everywhere. Why should it be me? And how is that your fault? Why would you blame yourself that he shows you over them? I don't want trouble. I am only but a stranger in this land. I don't want any trouble at all. Why, why does it have to be me? Actually, let me ask you a very simple question and I want you to give me a very simple answer. What if it is your destiny to be his wife? No. Will you be able to stop it because you don't want trouble? I don't see how that is my destiny. Don't be a shy place. Don't be a shy. And let me remind you that very soon people will gather here to eat the bush meat. I don't want to lack the bush meat I will sell at Sunset. Please. <laughs> Anybody here? I'm a boy and ever. What are you doing here? What else would I be doing here if not to come and buy bush meat? Who will send me? Oh. But we do not supply in the evening. The well, we should know that. He would not have sent me if he knew. Maybe I should go and let him know. He knows. Yet he sent me to come here and embarrass myself. That is enough. Wait. Come, let us see how we can help Mubo. Excuse me. Take that to him. I thought you said you don't have any. What you see in there was kept for another customer. Then I think you should keep it for the customer. No one would understand. It's just that the evening is still young and we already ran out. I gave that to you myself, didn't I? You didn't force me to. Take it. Take it to Mobo. Thank you. Thanks, so Mobo. I not only felt it, 
I could see it in his eyes. He's truly in love with me. And I love him too. A lot. At least I think I do. But what can I do? He is a man of noble character. Sorry, sorry. I wasn't looking. Oh yes, you weren't looking. I said I'm sorry. Yes. She's the one. Hey! Me? Stop me just to do that. Are you... Are you Momo's barmaid? What? Barmaid? I work for Momo. What do you want? You are the one that Chukudinibu has lost his senses to, right? I am talking to you! I asked a question. Are you the one that Chukudinibo, my man, has lost his senses to? Chukudinibo? Oh yes, I know him. As a matter of fact, I am just coming from his house. So if you claim he is your man, I think you should ask him that question. My name is Echezona. So you go and ask him if I am the one he has lost his so-called senses to. said she's one timid local girl. Imagine her boldness. actually gave me the one he said he reserved for someone else. Really? That's unlike Chukudinu, but he never does that. Well, that's what he told me because I was already on my way out when he called me back and gave it to me. You see what I've been trying to make you understand? Chukudinu has never gone this extra mile for me. I believe he did because of you. What's wrong? What with the face? Did you go into a fight with him or what? Over what? I already told him I'm not interested in him, so why should we fight?
prepare the meat. I'm the first about it. The customers are already asking for the meat. Actually, now I have been looking at you since you came back from school to the boy's house. And I can swear that something is wrong. How can you say you can swear? As if you know me like the back of your palms. Of course I do. You're like my younger sister. And ever since you came to live with me here, I have studied you very well. I know when you're troubled. Just that most of the times I, I decide not to interfere. Chuko Dinibo is a friend of mine that I know in this land very, very well. And if he has started to give you trouble lately, open up to me and I will fall out with you immediately. It's not about him. He hasn't done anything wrong to me. So what's the problem? It's Chuko Dinibo a womanizer. Is he really into women? A womanizer? Okay. Where is that coming from? A maiden stopped me on my way home. She almost had a fight with me. She said I'm the one that's making her mad, lose his senses over her. <laughs> Why are you laughing? It is not funny. I was embarrassed. It was as if I had snatched another woman's husband. Do you know why I am laughing? Because it is actually very funny. Listen to yourself. The maiden in question said, You are the one. Man lost his senses. That's very funny. I don't, what does that mean? I don't even understand what she meant by that. You, you don't need to bother yourself understanding what that means because it means absolutely nothing. I don't know this maid that stopped you along the road, and I don't want to know. But there is something I know. Shuko Dinibu is a man I know so well in this land, and he's a man of noble quality. As we speak. There is no single woman in this life, not to talk of me with my eyes. So my dear, if you have started to feel anything for me, as you now want to give me a chance, please, go ahead. No, 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 it's not that. It's not that at all. It's just that I was really mad. She, she was just going on and on. I was wondering why a man with such a beautiful maiden will want to go after another one. Because the Shuku Dinibo we are talking about is the dream of almost all the maidens in this land. So it is understandable that they have all gone around fighting over him with all other maidens. That shouldn't give any good matter. Should not bother you? Oh, Chechi. Nothing will change the fact that you are a pathological liar and a deadly deceiver too. Well, you can call me anything you like, but that will not change the fact that both of you hate yourselves. You can kill yourselves over a man that will never accept you. You know what? You are a big fool. Get out of this house before I do something drastic. Wait, what was she even thinking of when she was coming here? I would have better her with hot water if she had come to my house. Would you leave now? Get out! I will leave. Now calm down. I will leave. But not without delivering my message. To what nonsense message? You know Chuku Dinibo. The very man we all have been killing ourselves to have. Oh, we now? Yes, we. He now has a woman in his life. Um, Zara. Have you done it already? I mean, you went behind me to see Chuko Denebo. Me? I have not set my eyes on him for a long time. But I'm certain that it is Uzoma. Maybe she has finally charmed you with her food. Oh, just shut up! Just shut up, fools. Just, just shut it. If you do not know what to say, shut up! Choku Dinibo has his eyes on Echezona. The maiden that works at Mobo's bush bar.
Well, I expected that look on your faces. I'll be on my way now. I only thought I should let you know there is a new enemy. I advise you should check her out. I only came here to buy meat, nothing more. And trust me, if I had my way, I would not be here. Why? Chesana, why? Is it a crime to love? Is it? I love you. And I want you. I'm not deceiving you. I know. I didn't say you're deceiving me. I just don't want trouble. I cherish the job I do and the little I earn from it. And I don't want that ruined. Ruined? So marrying me will ruin it for you? Why, why would you say such a thing? I know what I'm saying and I expect you to understand too. I do not understand. Please make me understand. <laughs> I have never loved before because I've been very scared of getting involved with any woman. Until you came into my life. All that changed when you came into my life. This is not happening. Chukudu Nibu. why? Why? Why are you doing this? What? What are you doing to yourself? Why do you want to drag your good name to the mud? <laughs> is, is this what you chose over me? This bad lady? This is exactly what I was talking about. Echezona, please come. Go. She to let her go, please. I believe she understands that she does not deserve you. Please, let her go. Please, please. Look at me. Take me to your people. Make me your wife. And you will forever know joy. I promise you. Now listen. I want you to leave this compound this moment and never ever return. Do you hear me? I do not want to see you here when I come back. upon myself. Did I make a mistake by coming here to work? Why would such a noble man want to make me his wife? Because he loves you. Why me? You have all it takes to be a wife to any good and responsible man. How can you say that? With my past? No noble man will want to be with me when he hears about my past. Love conquers everything. He truly loves you and will accept your past no matter how dark it is. No. No, I'm not ready for this. 
I can't let him or anyone in this place know about my past. I can't. I am sure that he will get tired of me one day and give up. Yes. I shall continue to say no to him. I must not give in to his pressures. I do not know you. This is the very first time I'm setting my eyes on you. Who are you and what are you doing in my compound? Must you know me to precise and reconcile the things I said? The things you said? What have you said? That we have something in common? That our lives are similar? That we are one, ultimately? What does that even mean? You smile. Why do you smile? Listen. I have a feeling that you are a spirit. Probably an evil spirit. Introduce yourself properly and state your mission clearly. Or I will have no other choice than to treat you as an enemy. Just... So I came outside. Are you okay? Yes. It's just a bad dream I had. It made me uncomfortable. You mean you are still up at this time? Standing here because of a late dream, not even a nightmare? What dream is that? The dream I. Okay. Never mind. It's... Don't worry about it. Yes, yes, sir. What you take the work that you took in the name of the world? What do you want to do? Why do you want to do that? I have a problem with is the service. 
Хоча зна разнося в ній. is to watch my beautiful etches and ashes. You are the blood that keeps me alive. I can't get enough of you. Get me the drink. I just want to observe you as well. Come on, turn around. Don't do that. Man. You will fall. Stop it. Turn. <laughs> She's just the very best. Hey, who the? You know, in as much as I, I want to sell a lot of bottles of my wine, but I must have to remind you that you have a small bottle. So you have to be careful how you drink my wine. <laughs> you are <wrong> rumors. We <laughs> can. Do with that bed. Yes, you can. Fresh bottles. Enjoy yourself. The neighbor, the great man of Uru neighbor. Whoa, 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 the greatest palm wine tapper in our land. I greet you. You are welcome. Thank you very much. I feel excited to see people like you coming to my bar because it gives me this impression that I'm going to sell a lot today. I don't know if to take that as a compliment. Because, <laughs> like, how many bottles do you have? Two will not make me lose my head now. Really. No, no, sit down. Hey, Shazana. Eshe Zona! Eshe Zona! She seems to be doing everything possible to avoid me. But I have consistently asked her to stop. What's going on? Don't worry about it. You can serve me today. I will manage. Thank you. Calm down, calm down. It's me. 
it's just... What are you doing here? Looking for you. And you? Me? I... I just came to... I was trying to see if... Where is Chukwu Dumi? Oh, she just left. She left? Yes. How? You say that he's coming back. Okay. Enjoy your wine. <laughs> Let me help. You are trying to hide from me. I understand. They ask why you always do your best to avoid me. Why that bad? I don't want to be looking for me to go back to the bar. Yes, because I was the only one who saw you run away to hide. To hide from me. That's just it. I dream of you every other night. And I hope that someday you will find a place in your heart for me. For us. I dream that one day I will have you by my side. I mean every word that I have just said. And it's a big question. Please, please forgive us. And people need to forgive me, please. And because I'm old. Please. 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 Oh, Dukai, what do you want me to do now? Forgiveness. Oh, Nisi, please. Please forgive us. I'm very, very sorry. Forgive you for what exactly? For accusing me of stealing your woman? Or for plotting to take my life? I love that. Because I'm uh, Please. Uh, because you're not missing. Please. Forgive mm. us, please. Yes. Do not punish him for this. I take the blame. Yes. It was all my fault. Because you're not All I beg for is your forgiveness, Chukutini. Please. 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 I do not have any right not to forgive you. Thank you. But the truth is that I cannot do that which you ask of me. Hi. Hi. And you say, please, I beg of you. Please, forgive me. Please, I'm sorry. It's our fault. Odukwe, I cannot take you back to work for me. Hi. That is not possible. Hi. I have forgiven you, yes, but my spirit will not let me take you back. Hi. Anymore, please. I'll be back with you shortly. Yeah. See, see what you got. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, I need the job. Get up. Huh? Please. Huh? Get, get, get the up. job, please. Get up. Hmm? Please. Thank you. Done. Yes. Thank you. I have forgiven you. Yes. Thank you. And um, I know that you need this job. It's a great deal. Yes. Especially now that you are getting married. And it pains me greatly that I cannot give it to you. Huh? Here. Yeah. Take this. Start a business. Sustain yourself. Sustain your new family. This is the most I can do. Mm. I hope it is good enough. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Asipam kam noro we mo Obi mama we Mbi bi alonan do mo A wata roya na so E beta roya na kwa Ezi oku Ijo bi muna ka Adi adi Bye. 
What's under the drink? Um, I was just about to bring it. I'm almost done. You fast about it? Yes. Have you finished the washing? Yes. Please sit down. What is going on with you? I asked a question or didn't you hear me? I heard you. There's nothing going on with me. That is if I understand your question. It appears as if you are losing your mind. Even when you walk. Like today, which is still very fresh. You were so lost when you were filling the bottles. You were practically wasting my wine. And this is something that you have been doing lately on a regular basis. I've been monitoring you. Thinking it is something that will pass with time, but it has become very consistent. And I call you to ask, what is eating you up? Actually, I have told you time and time again that you are like a younger sister to me. And I want you to see me as your elder brother. Forget the fact that you work here for me. I want us to relate like members of the same family. What is the problem with you? I'm really sorry about what happened earlier today. I was just lost in thought. What thought? The people at home, are they alright? Or did you receive any bad news from your place? No, no, no. no. Everyone is doing well. Everyone is fine. Is it about him then? Him. Who? You love him, right? Chukwu Dinibu. You love him. So all these upset mindedness is because of Chukwu Dinibu. Is he not? It's just that why are you punishing yourself? Why are you not willing to give this young man a chance in your life even when it is clear to me that you love him? What have you not done to push him off? And he has remained very consistent coming. What's your problem? Or are you keeping yourself for any other man? No, I've not been with any other man since I turned 15. Then why are you not giving him a chance? Chukwu Dinibu is good for you. If he's not good for you, I wouldn't have allowed him to come near you in the first place to make that proposal. And I, I, I allowed him because I know he means well. Why are you punishing yourself? Why are you subjecting yourself to this kind of trauma? I called you here this night to talk to you as a brother. And I want you to critically think what I have just said this night. Give it a thought. Because he means well. I will leave you now. But I want you to think about what I just said. I will see you tomorrow. have those dreams every night and uh, you and I are always happy we seem happy I have them every other night and 
I can't wait to make them come true.